And we do want to go out live now to Fox 31's Ashley Michaels, who's south of the metro area. Ashley, are you still in Castle Pines or have you moved a little bit? Yes, yeah, so we've moved a little bit north again. We're now in Lone Tree. We're at the park and ride at Ridgegate right along the side of I-25. Again, I'm going to step out of the way so you can take a look at I-25 behind us. Again, this is right at Ridgegate. So we're in that stretch where uh, those semi trucks are not allowed to be driving at this point. We are just south of C-470. And unfortunately, in the in the few minutes that we've been here, we have seen multiple semi trucks still going southbound on I-25. Colorado State Patrol says it is unsafe for them to do so. So hopefully it doesn't create a lot of trouble out there. I will say while we've been driving around for the last hour, since they have not been allowed in this area, we have seen at least one semi truck that was stopped and stalled on the side of I-25 in this stretch, creating a few problems. But, you know, Greg just talked about the visibility out here and it is treacherous at this moment. Now that the sun is going down, the snow is starting to pick up. Visibility is terrible out here. We did talk with Colorado State Patrol and actually on the on ramp. Do you see there is one of those semi trucks coming on right now? That is what is not allowed. Two of them back to back right here. But I do want to get to some sound that we just talked with Colorado State Patrol and they say really they they have these closures in place because they don't want people to get stuck. They don't want people to get stranded. But here is their advice. If you do have to venture out the house tonight. Just be prepared for the roadway. Make sure you have a power bank uh, with you. If you need assistance, go ahead and call 911. If you're stranded, that way you can get help. Now, I would not try to take shelter right now. Who knows how long you'll be stuck out there, especially without water or food. Yeah, and that's some good advice. And and boy, oh boy, that's why it's so worrisome to see those two trucks that did just take this on-ramp right at Ridgegate into this closure for CMVs. This is because there is no place for them really to pull off between Denver and Colorado Springs. You know, it's that gap area. There's not a lot of services. There's not a lot of open space if those trucks need to line up along the highway. It's so not a very good situation out here, but some good reminders from Colorado State Patrol. If you can stay in tonight, it's a Friday night. Just order some pizza and stay on the couch. Ashley Michaels, Fox 31. Yeah, that sounds like a good Friday night. Ashley, thank you. Stay safe out there. Yep.